Boys and girls, today we are going to solve two-step problems using the strategy Act It Out. Please read the story problem. How 
much did each pack, this is a pack of pins, this is one pack, this is two packs, how much did each pack cost? Eight divided by two is what? Four. 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 Each pack costs four dollars. So now let's check our answer. Okay, we bought two packs of pins, that's four dollars, and then another four dollars. Then we bought one pack or one notebook. Okay, that's four plus four plus three equal eleven. Four plus four is eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Yes, so our two packs equals four dollars. So one pack of pins equals four dollars. Four dollars. Okay, next page. Okay, another problem. Read it. Chad bought four packs of t-shirts. He gave five t-shirts to his brother. Now Chad has 19 shirts. How many shirts were in each pack? So what do we need to find? How many teachers? Oh, we had his hand up. How many teachers were in each pack? Okay, how many teachers were in each pack? Write that down. So what information do I need to use? What was the first most important information? He has four packs of t-shirts. What's the second most important information? He gave five t-shirts to his brother. And what's the last important information? Now Chad has 19 shirts. Now Chad has 19 shirts. We're going to write that. Okay, how will I use the information? If you are unsure, you could look at the front page and look in the third box at what we said the last time. But what does it say? Eli? I will use the information to act out the problem. Okay, I will use the information to act out the problem. Okay, so we know Chad bought four packs of t-shirts, but we don't know the total number of t-shirts that are in each pack. We don't have a total yet. So we have to look at the next information. He gave five t-shirts to his brother. Well, we, we can't subtract the five away like it says he gave it away. Yes, that's subtraction, but we can't say he gave it away, because, or we can't subtract the number from the total because we don't have the total. So then we have to go, keep going and reading. Now he has 19 shirts. So we know he has 19 shirts now. We know the total now. So what did you guys say that we should do to get the total from when he started? Add, add 5 to 19. Do the opposite operation and add 5 to 19. So first, we are going to have 19 shirts. <coughs> well, I thought you were going to say add 19 to Add five shirts Yeah, we will. 19 shirts plus five shirts. Plus five shirts equals how many shirts? Okay, so what does that equal, guys? 19 plus five, that equals how much, everyone? 24. 24 total shirts. I didn't leave myself enough room. Me neither. Okay, he, he has 24 shirts. So now we have the total that he started with. We know the total number of shirts. Now, though, that's the first step. We did the first step, the first part of the problem. Now we are going to have the second step. 24 shirts is now we know the total. But do we, and <gasps> what else do we know now? We have to see how many is in four packs. Yes, we have to see how many shirts are in four packs. So we're splitting the shirts among four packs, which means that you are going to what? Divide. Divide. 24 shirts divided by four. What? What's four? Four packs. Packs. You forgot to write that. Oh, I did. I'm not writing cursive. Okay, I'll fix it. You just write this down. <laughs> Equals 24 shirts divided by 4 packs. Now, boys and girls, the answer in the book says that they had 19 counters, and then they added 5 more, which would have been 24 total counters. 
but then they would, if you're dividing by four, you would have to put them at the 24 counters in groups of four. If you had 24 counters and you put them in groups of four, well, we can just do that, groups of four right now. Okay, count 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. How many are in each group? Everyone? Six. Six. So there will be six shirts in each pack. And actually, I think they would like for you to show your work down here. So we found the answer. Uh, show the four equal groups down here. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, the question on the bottom says, how can you use multiplication and subtraction to check your answer? Basically, you're doing the opposite operations of what you did to solve this problem. Okay. So start with your answer. We got an answer of how much? Right. Oh, no. 24. No. What is our answer at the oh, end? Six. Six. Our answer at the end was six shirts in each pack. So you use multiplication first. Six. Oh, well, we got to say yes. Because yes, we can use multiplication and subtraction. Yes. Six, our answer, times what? Shirts times four. Four what? Packs. Times four packs equals what? Everybody? Twenty-four. Twenty-four total <coughs> shirts. Okay? I can just write twenty-four. I'm gonna say total shirts. Total shirts. We have Yes. Okay. Then that was the multiplication. Now what would you do to subtract? Okay, we did the division, uh, we did the opposite of the division problem. That's six shirts divided by four packs equals 24 total shirts. So the next problem, guys, we're having some troubles. But if you look at the word problem, it's telling you how to do it. Chad bought four packs of shirts. We found how many total shirts were in all the packs, right? Which is what? How many total shirts were in all, were, how many total shirts did he have? 24. He had 24, which is our answer to our addition problem. When we are doing the opposite subtraction, we do the answer as the first number. So the addition, or the subtraction problem would start with 24 shirts. He gave five shirts to his brother. So what am I going to do? You guys told me this at the beginning of the story. What am I going to do? With that 24, he gave five to his brother. So what are we going to do? Minus five, because he gave five to his brother. Write this down. <coughs> and what does that equal then, guys? 19. 19 shirts. Did we end up with the same thing as what they're saying up here? Yes. Okay, then our answer should be correct. Okay, number seven. Rose saw a movie, sh saw a movie, shopped and ate at a restaurant. She did not see the movie first. She shopped right after she ate. In what order do Rose, did Rose do those activities? Okay, when I see this kind of problem, I like to make a timeline. Now my timeline is going to have to be, I'm going to do it like this because I have room, but you guys might have to turn your uh, paper oh, sideways so you can find it that way. Okay, it yeah. said she saw a movie, but she did not see the movie first. Okay, she shopped right after she ate. So what did she do? Okay, if we didn't put the movie first, where could we put the movie? At the end. At the end. Okay, let's put movie M at the end. Oh, for movie. Do... Okay. Wait, we'll see if we're right. We'll see if we're right. Okay, and then it said she shopped and ate also. So, what? and she says that she shopped right after she ate. So do we have to put eat first? Yeah. Okay, and then shop. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs>